Hello, good evening. I say good evening because I'm recording this at night. In this video, I will be giving an orientation or introduction for our subject, AC1101. AC1101 will be dealing with conceptual framework and accounting standards. I intend for this video to be just short, so I'll immediately proceed to the introduction already. First would be to tell you what the subject is all about. Again, as already stated, this is conceptual framework and accounting standards. So needless to say, we will be talking about accounting standards. This subject would be under the umbrella of your financial accounting and reporting, which is a subject in the CPA board exams. The ultimate goal for financial accounting and reporting is to prepare financial statements that will be useful to financial statement users. And we prepare the financial statements by following the provisions provided in the accounting standards. So the goal for this subject would be to make the students become familiar with the most basic and most important provisions of the various accounting standards. As you will see later in our term-long schedule, we will have to cover a lot of accounting standards. Now, it's important for you to keep in mind that AC1101 is one of your four major subjects. But this being my subject, I'll tell you that out of the four major subjects that you are taking up this semester, this subject would be the most important. Your other major subjects would be your law and obligations and contracts, your management science, and your accounting for partnership and corporation. I say AC1101 is more important because concepts discussed in this subject are going to be used in a lot more subjects down the road. Compared to your loan obligations and contracts, although that would set the foundation of your knowledge in business laws, but that would just affect only one subject in the board exam. Unlike in this subject, as I've already mentioned, this would affect your financial accounting and reporting, but it would also affect at least two more board subjects, namely your advanced financial accounting and reporting and your auditing. In auditing class, you'll be expected to determine whether the accounting standards were correctly applied. So in the first place, if you are not familiar with the accounting standards, then definitely you will not do so well in auditing. Then the other subject that I mentioned that will be affected will be your advanced financial accounting and reporting. So basically, advanced financial accounting and reporting or AFAR it's just the same as your financial accounting and reporting. It is just that it's called advanced. Advanced because in that subject, you would be dealing with accounting treatments for transactions that are specific to certain industries, whereas financial accounting and reporting is for general application. So basically, for your advanced financial accounting and reporting, it is still the same accounting standards, but it is just that they are applied already specifically to certain industries or to certain business transactions. The bottom line is that advanced financial accounting and reporting will still be using your accounting standards. So this subject really will set the foundation for a lot of subjects in your study of accounting and for more than one subject in the CPA board exam. Now as for your accounting for partnership and corporation, Many would think that that would be the most important accounting subject right now because out of your four major subjects, that would be the only one that will deal with journal entries. And except for those who did not take up ABM in senior high school, you would agree with me that the focus of your accounting classes would be on the debits and credits. For this subject, we will not be dealing with debits and credits. We will not be dealing with journal entries. Our goal here is for you to know the rules that must be followed as you prepare your financial statements. The journal entries, the debits and credits you've learned before, helps you arrive at the amounts that would be reported in the financial statements based on your records. But in this subject, we are working under the premise that, that there is no issue as to the record keeping of, of the day-to-day -day transactions of the business. Our concern here is to make sure that our financial statements are capable of providing useful financial information. So again, we will not be dealing with debits and credits in this subject. 
So why again would I say that AC1101 should be given more attention than your other subjects? Because since you are still first years, your primary concern right now would be to pass your Part 1. Part 1 stands for Program Advancement Readiness Test. You cannot proceed to third year without passing part. And in your Part 1 class, the subjects that would be covered would be your Financial Accounting and Reporting and your Business Laws. Even if you are taking your Partnership Accounting right now, it is not as urgent as our subject because partnership accounting is covered by a subsequent part, not in your part 1. So that's why I say that you should treat this subject with utmost importance. But of course, if I was handling the other subjects, I would also tell you that you should also prioritize that subject.